guys, my name is Krista Knight and I make content for the interwebs. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this kinky curly wig. I love this wig. It turned out so well. The best thing about this is it only cost me about $30 to make and it only took about two hours. But before we jump into the video about how I made this wig, um, first I need to show you this. This is Octavius. He's bundled in. He's so cute. He's so adorable, guys. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to show you my shirt. It's so cute. Okay, so there's Godzilla. Um, and he's, you know, just eating a little, little bowl of ramen. So cute. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Let's talk about this hair. So I usually do this hair um, in a crochet just normally. I'm like how you would normal, normally crochet something. Um, I wouldn't put it into a wig. But after doing that a couple times, I realized that this hair gets tangled pretty quickly. Um, and if you sleep on it, it gets messed up pretty fast and it's really just a pain in the butt to detangle. Um, so I'd end up only wearing the hair for about like a week or a week and a half before I'd want to take it out because I felt like it just didn't look that good anymore. Um, so I decided to make a wig so I could just snatch this off at nighttime, put it onto the mannequin and you don't have to worry about getting it tangled when you sleep. Um, so to make this wig, I used one and a half like packets of this hair. This is the Janet Collection Kinky Crush in 36 inches. Um, and I just did it in a number two since I was just making a wig. If I did it um, with leave out or something like that, I'd probably get like a one or a one B. I really, I feel like I get a different like color every single time because I never remember which one I use. Um, but since I wasn't worried about leave out, I just went with a two because why not? Um, and I also got this like braiding cap. It like has a fake braid on the cap, which I thought would be really nice just cause it kind of have like the layout of how you want your hair to lay, like how you would normally do it. If you're actual, if you're crocheting it to your actual head. The issue I had with this mostly is because the way the braid is sewn onto the cap, the, it's sewn right through the middle of the braid basically. So you can't crochet it through the entire braid. Um, so I just ended up crocheting it to either like the top or the bottom of the braid, whichever one was closest to my hand when I did each little section. But it was really nice. Um, you can spread this hair out quite a bit. I when I first put the hair in, um, if you look here, that was just one little half, like one little um, section out of the packet. And I should have spread that out more because towards the end, the hair became too bulky and I had to end up taking out bundles, or bundles, I had ended up taking out some areas and installing them in other places just so it wouldn't look so like massive because when i first made this wig it was like it was it was huge and it was like it was too much so yeah make sure you can you can spread the hair out like a couple of inches or you can take smaller sections whichever one works for you either way works um if you take smaller sections the hair is going to be a little bit frizzier versus if you take bigger sections and you don't like um, separate the hair as much. Once I got to the front, I know I wanted to have bangs. So I did section off smaller sections to go across the front because I didn't want my bangs like super, super thick or on like unnatural looking. Um, I wanted them to look more natural. So I put like two small layers of very like small sections all the way across the front. Um, before you cut your bangs, put the wig onto your head because if you look here, the wig is actually not all the way to the front of my head. I'm wearing it back a little bit. So you don't want to end up cutting your bangs too short because you're going to position it um, slightly different on your actual head versus your mannequin head. And when it comes to cutting the bangs, I learned, I just winked it guys. I cut it, um, you see me cutting it here on camera um, but then after the initial cut it was kind of lopsided and a little messy so I went into the bathroom I put it on my actual head and I just cut like down it's not because it's curly you don't have to be too perfect and the good thing about crochet is if you mess up you can literally just take the section out and put new hair in 
and try it again. So if you mess up the first time, really do not stress on it because you can literally just replace the hair with different hair. Um, on like if you like sew wig down or if you um, put it in your, well I guess if you put it in your own hair you could also redo it too but it's just more of a pain. Um, but with crochet you can just take a section out and put it back in if you mess it up. So it's pretty much foolproof. I did it. This was my first time doing this and I think it turned out pretty well. It's out. It's obviously like not perfect. I'm not a hairstylist or anything. Um, but I think for the first time for doing this myself, it turned out pretty good. Yeah. If you guys like that, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's a little tedious, I guess it wasn't. It's easier to do it on a mannequin for sure than it's on your own head. Your arms get a lot less tired because you can make the mannequin lower. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to reply to everybody. If you have any questions, like I said, it really, it really wasn't too, it really wasn't difficult at all. You just gotta do it. So if you wanna try it, give it a try. It's not too much of an investment. Um, and it's really easy to do if you've ever just done any type of crochet, you can definitely do this. Um, after I was done, I just went in with some scissors and I cleaned up any like stragglers that were hanging out or any like lopsided hair to the best of my ability. Um, when you're doing this, make sure you step back and look at the wig. Don't look at it too close because it's so much hair, you're really not gonna be able to tell if you're too close. So make sure you just take a step back before you go in and like cut pieces. Um, yeah, is there anything else? Is there any other tips I have? Not really. Um, I might do a twist out on this and see how it turns out, but I'll probably just leave this hair alone and wear it like this for a couple weeks. Um, you know, you guys know if you've been, if you're an OG channel watcher, you know I love changing my hair all the time. So I will probably be back with more hair videos depending on what I do. So yeah, that's it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, click the like button, click the subscribe button. I'm here every week at least. <laughs> And yeah, oh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Krista underscore night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!